John Brockington was a former All-Pro fullback who ranks fourth on the Green Bay Packers career rushing list. He was a famous first-round draft choice out of Ohio State University and was the NFL offensive rookie at the year 1971. He also played for the Kansas City Chiefs before retiring in 1977. He was born on September 7, 1948 and died on March 31, 2023, so he was 7 24 years old when he passed away the packers announced the death but did not reveal the cause of death as for his personal life he married diane brockington in 1974 and they had two children together roy shellman was a british musician songwriter and record producer who co-founded the progressive rock band gentle giant with his brother derek and philip he also produced albums for alternative rock artists such as the sundays and the sugar cube he was born on December 8, 1949 and died on 30 March 2023 so he was 73 years old when he passed away his older brother Derek confirmed the news on Music Times but did not reveal the cause of death as for his personal life we could not find much information except that his father was a trumpet player in a jazz band and that he had a son named Daniel Jeanine Dricot was a American college football player who was a halfback and return special Specialist for Michigan Wolverines from 1944 to 1948. He was one of the first African American athletes at the University of Michigan in the era when college football was beginning to integrate. He played on championship teams in 1947 and 1948 and set several school and Big Ten records for punt and kickoff returns. He was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 1992. He was born on June 14, 1926, and died on. March 31, 2023. So he was 96 years old when he passed away. The Detroit News reported his death but did not reveal the cause of death. Alicia Shepard was an American journalist, media writer, and expert on the work and lives of Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein, the Washington Post reporters who broke the Watergate scandal. She wrote a book about them called Woodward and Bernstein: Life in the Shadow of Watergate, and co-produced a documentary. called Woodwork and Bernstein. She was also a former NPR Oms Bernstein, a journalist professor at several universities and a media trainer for Afghan journalists. She was born on April 27, 1953 and died on April 1, 2023, so she was 69 years old when she passed away. The Washington Post reported her death but did not reveal the cause of death. As for her personal life, she was married to David Shepard, a former CIA officer. and author of the spy who lost her head a memoir of his experiences in Afghanistan they had two children Alex and Anna Simon Stein was an American entrepreneur and music executive who co-founded Sire Records and was vice president of Warner Bros Records he signed bands that became central to the new wave era of 1970s and 1980s including Talking Heads the Ramones and the Pretenders he also signed Madonna as well he was known as a visionary and Influential figure in the music industry and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2005. He was born on April 18, 1942, and died on April 2, 2023. So he was 80 years old when he passed away. The BBC reported his death but did not reveal the cause of death. As for his personal life, he was married to the music promoter and real estate executive Linda Stein, and together the couple had two daughters, Maddie and Samantha. Bob Lee was an American. a businessman and software engineer who founded Cash App, a mobile payment service that allows users to send and receive money through their smartphones. He was also the chief technology officer of Block, a financial services and digital payments company co-founded by Jack Dorsey. Additionally, he was a chief product officer of Mobile Coin, a cryptocurrency project backed by Signal. He was born on December 20, 1979 and died on April 4, 2023. so he was 43 years old when he passed away on april 4th lee was fatally stabbed in the rincon hill neighborhood of san francisco the police arrested a suspect who was reportedly homeless and mentally ill 